everybody, this is Jan Akeno Film of Bonsai Studio. Uh, for the people who want to have a translation or a production, you can press on the right of this YouTube screen and uh, you can ask for a translation in your language. So, uh, last time I wrote a blog, a blog about uh, making your life more easy and simplify things. This is the or these are things that Manuel teaches me. Um, to simplify life because life sometimes sometimes is hard enough and bonze is very um, is a very time consuming work and a hobby and passion. Um, so sometimes you need to make your life more easy. And this I talked about in a blog about like um, when you do bonze as a hobby to have like a maximum of twenty five trees because you need to maintain everything and you need to keep everything wide as possible. So it's better to have 25 pure trees than instead of 100, 200 rubbish trees that you cannot, you cannot pay attention to. So and that would be a, a little bit bad for, for, for the plants you love. So um, also to take classes and stuff like that and other things. But uh, that's what I already wrote on my blog. And today I want to continue about this, talk about this, uh, to talk about the basics and how the teaching, teachings of Manuel uh, made styling and caring about trees much more easy for myself. And my technique improved quite a lot of it. And let's just start with the basics. One tree that we use, or could use, or one uh, bonsai style that we could use, is the Muyogi. Why the Miyogi? Because we are going to explain it like this. So if you would have like a trunk, yeah, you started with your with your roots, of course, with your nibari, huh? and that's the most important thing. So every time when you work on a tree, you have to start with the with the with the base. That's the most important thing. So if you grow from cutting or seedling, uh, etc., you first grow the a very good nimbari, if that's possible, because with the Yomadori that's not possible. And you have to grow the body, the trunk. So, and if we have like a Moyogi, because that's the basics, and the first movement goes very direct to there, like to there. Yes, then the next movement would be half the size of the first, of the first uh, of the first river, there is the first uh, Tashigari when this here is a branch. So Tashigari is from the root, from the Nibari to the first branch. So this should be, when you have your, fir your first corner, should be the half, more or less like this, yeah? And then it should be not equal in size, it should be half in size. So actually, it should start here. So, when you start working on your body and you would have a perfect tree, the perfect tree doesn't exist, but you first would have a movement to there, and then the movement that is half, half the size of this trunk, but also half of the thickness of that trunk, because we need to create taper, yeah? And then, we have the next movement, and that will be half the size of this one, and half the thickness of this one, like this. And then you continue until you get along to the top, and that would be more or less like this. But also this one should be in the middle of your tree, of your nibari, so that you can create balance. So, and this is what's the main goal, because when you have your movement, the first branch would be here, correct? And then you could have one in the back or something like that. And then the second branch is in the second corner. And now one over here and etc. you know? So that are more or less the basics. And then one will teach me to see the bra a branch structure as well as this Muyogi style. 
but the branch structure is more or less the same. When in the corner, you also have a branch coming out and going out again. But it's practically the same because you have, when you have your trunk, you have your trunk and you have your branch that's starting to grow. And when you have a perfect bonsai, you have a primary branch and you see this, this junction or this modular pole. And then from that then on, it starts splitting into two. So you always need to need to keep two branches. Yeah. Then you have your secondary branches and then you go to your tertiary tertiary branches. So here it splits into two again. And this is what people forget a lot of times when styling a tree because they're all the time going into two. So all the things that grow, if you would see this from the other side, it would grow like this. And you would have a lot of branches from, from this side. And nothing, so everything that would grow down, you would cut away. And everything you would cut from above, you leave a little stump on it, like where, where some buds are. Why we do that? Because then, because now we have created a foliage cloud. But when we do this, we will create it um, uh, more, how do you say it? Um, you create more, um, more depth, more, uh, you know, space. So, actually, when you start with bonsai, when you have this as a branch, it would be the same. And your branch also needs to create taper, just like here, so it needs to go on half, 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 half. And then it should go, when you have your first branch here, it should go to there. So when you work with a pine or something, and you have to style it, and you have the same movement. As the Miyogi style, more or less, you grow from the inside and it grows out like this or from this corner again like this and this corner again like this and then you start to create branches everywhere and that's how you create your foliage plant again it's from the top side and what you can do is you can elevate with, with some the ones that are back to get them put them more higher up, stuff like that. So this this is what I was talking about the basics. Next time I will try to explain and I will try to show an example uh, when I'm styling a tree. So these are the basics that help me a lot with Manuel to do, to, to search for, for or to, to have, get a better style. Also when you create foliage clouds, you need to style them like that, and you need to be like this, and they need to be like that. Because if you have a dull, if you have a very dynamic truck, and you style them like this, it's very static. I already tried an example with, with, with one, to create a, a video example of how you make a foliage cloud, but uh, the camera didn't <laughs> record it, so too bad. So we're going to try this and do this new. What I was talking about when you create a foliage cloud, you also need to bring dynamic into it, because if you have something like that, um, it looks more static when you have a dynamic tree. So uh, the other things with the basics, what I was wanting to tell you is when you start with the body, then you have to do the primary branches. So you see a lot of people when they do demonstrations and stuff like that, um, it's that they wire the tree and they, they remove all the old needles completely and stuff like that. Um, this is, this is uh, the old needles, they have vitamins and minerals that are good for a tree. And uh, I want to show people that's not necessary to do that. And also, you see them wiring completely the tree, and then they start shaping it and cutting the branches. So you have lost a lot of 
aluminium and copper wire and that's a little bit of a shame so now I'm talking a little bit against my shop because in a commercial way it's not that good but I'm here to to tell you people about things. So what they mostly do is when the branch is growing it's not it's not growing like this already you know a branch is probably growing like this and what they start to do is they start to remove all the needles but when you start styling a tree you need to work on the body this first you need to create balance if you've done that then you can start with the branch structure and you can work on the first branch as first and you can put it into position like that and now i can see what i need to cut and what i can keep for example when you have the example as, as the miyogi this one starts here's my my primary branch going into uh, going into two secondary branches so and then you have one at this point that you need to use and one at this point so this one i can cut why because your branch structure needs to be uh, i don't know the english word but if you have something like this you need to have one here one here one here one here yeah to make everything sound easier with pines and junipers you can cheat a little bit but try to do it like that yeah so and then you have one here and one here so this one is a little bit weaker so we can cut this one you know and then here we have one two three and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the middle one and keep the two laterals if you can see here here's one that's growing down we cannot use this we're going to remove a little bit of the older needles but not everything because we can use them then you have one over here one over here and this one's growing down if this one's would be here it wouldn't be grown down but up so we could have maybe cut this one but that's not right you know so when you put like this this one's growing down so we can cut this one right here here are three one two three buds as well we're going to keep and uh, remove the middle one yeah here also three at the same spot we can remove the red little one and the one on top like this so then we need to wire it and in japan they always teach me not to use more than two wires on the branch so with primary and secondary branches this is the same thing but with tertiary branches only use one or maybe no uh, none because when you when you move it like this you can decide how you can look you can decide how you can put and you can create more depth into it with this so now i'm going to wire this branch for you guys So what you always need to do when you need to wire a branch down, you need to start to wire it from the up, from the side above, like this. Yep. When you wire a branch up, you need to start to do it from downward. Yeah. When this branch needs to go to this side, you start bending it like this, wiring it like this, and then you already bend it a little bit. So with this one, this one is already to the trunk, if you can see, like this, you know. So we need to uh, wire these two together and that's what we can do and I'm going to use not more than two branches, two wires on a branch, you know, because we don't need to use more. And while I'm wiring and putting things in position I can remove the ones I think I don't need and I can also use some of the older ones to give extra energy for the tree so always with four, 45 degrees when you're wiring or a little bit more and here I can remove some more needles that we grown down and then here I have two two buds you know you see I can combine these when I make a little bag. So I have wired for now one branch 
with one more um, two branches one more and here I have the tips already sealed up uh, pressed up okay then this one I can just follow it and here we're going to do the same lay the back and then we have these two that we can combine and then I'm going to shape it into position so now I've used three wires for the complete branch and then I'm going to shape it and then I can see what I need to remove and which ones I can keep from the needles that are going down this one goes a little bit like this this one I can remove something like this like that and now we have made a beautiful foliage cloud like this like that with only three wires as you can see and the only thing we had to do was remove a little bit in these downstairs shape it a little bit so yeah that's how it should be done So, the same as like this one we did. This one's also full, quite nice, and you didn't have to use a lot of branches as you can see. So, this was one of the techniques that I wanted to show you and explain you that I learned by my mom, but just simplifying it. So, If you like, if you may want to make life more easy and you want to understand bonsai, just think about the, these techniques. These help me quite a lot with giving a more cleaner style, uh, with growing things. Sometimes things need just need to grow. I would like have would use tree branches um, to have a more nice shape or more fuller shape. Uh, you need to start thinking working with bonsai. Bonsai needs to grow. We need to we need to learn we need to progress the trees need to progress so just cut the one in the middle keep those two and you can shape something out of that and then you can work further from that amount so yeah thank you for watching goodbye